Let me ask uh, Saira Shah Haleem, again I come back to the Supriya Srinath example and what has happened. Unless political parties lead by example <coughs> and take action, I mean somebody referred to the case of uh, Bridgebush and Sharan. So far from what I know, uh, the BJP has declared about 400 candidates almost, uh, but they have not declared whether Bridgebush and Sharan Singh is going to get a ticket. If he does get a ticket, then what does that say? of political parties and their reluctance to take <coughs> decisive action against these men or women for that matter. In the case of Supriya, she's a woman who's insulted a fellow woman politician. Uh, they simply refuse to take decisive action because the costs, the political costs are too low, Sarah Shahalim. Nobody gets politically affected if no action is taken against these errant leaders. Yeah, so firstly, good evening, Zaka. So whichever side of the fence, any misogynistic barb or any kind of insult to women, especially in public life, is very demeaning and very patriarchal because you reduce a woman to, a, you know, bar girl, insinuating that, oh, you know, just because a woman is successful, implying insinuations is just not correct. Now, secondly, I like to come and iterate that Kangana Ranaut has not really covered herself up with glory. She called Urmila Matonkar a soft porn star. Not only that, she has earlier, you know, spoken about the dadis at uh, Shaheen Bagh as, as saying they earn 100 rupees and that's how they got fame. So insinuating that the dadis who were protesting in Shaheen Bagh were all women who were getting 100 rupees and they, they were sick women, you know, elderly sick women. Now she has not spared any of her contemporaries or her co-stars. She's called people like women B-star heroines. She's called um, Tapsi Pannu, she's called Deepika Padukone, and so many other of her contemporary B-grade women. So she should not be on any moral high ground here because she has said all and sundry about everyone possible. No, no, but Saira, that can't be a reason or a justification for no, what, no, no, Zaka, what Supriya like said, said about her. I mean, Supriya, now, now Kangana, Ranaut, Kangana Ranaut Supriya, may or may not have said stuff in the past. She may have said stuff in the past. I'm not defending yes, her. It's, it's, it's but but that can't be a justification. Zaka. That can't be a, a justification, Saira, for what Supriya Srinath has said now, today, here okay, and now. Okay, now, 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 just, 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 just hear me now. Supriya hmm. has clearly said that there was uh, another handle that was impersonating as her handle. And she's clarified that it was not her who said it. But at the same time, Kangana has been quite unapologetic about the various sickening, misogynistic, dirty words and verbiage that she uses for her contemporaries. It is filthy. Calling Urmila Matonka a soft porn star. Is that forgivable? Calling somebody her contemporaries who have done exceedingly well. B-grade women. What do you mean by B-grade women? I am sorry. They are your co-stars. They are your friends, they are your contemporaries, you're not supposed okay. to be demeaning anybody by calling anybody B, C grade heroine. And she's called women protesting women at Shaheen Bagh. Uh, I, 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 I don't, I don't know if, no, I don't no, know if that, that qualifies as okay. okay. It's okay to, to attack her, but be that as it may, let me ask Lalita, let me ask Lalita Kumaramangalam. Uh, you know, if, if Kangana Ranaut can go around abusing all and sundry, and now when the shoe is on the other foot, why is she complaining? In politics, this is how it is. If you're if you're not ready to take the heat and uh, 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 tumble I of politics, then then then, then don't the, the, then, then the don't complain. Being, Zaka, this issue is being trivialized. It's not just about Kangana. In this case, the comment was made about Kangana. But across the board, as it has been pointed out earlier by several people on this panel, every all and sundry seem to use slurs like this about women. Yeah. And how do we? How are we on this show trying to say that it's okay? that two people do the same thing wrong, so it becomes right. If Kangana has used such words, it was wrong. But that doesn't make what Supriya Shainath uh, has said or the way she has behaved uh, right at all. Both are equally wrong and both should not have happened. The problem here today in Indian politics is that we don't have the guts to call out our own people when they are wrong, but we are constantly pointing fingers at the other side. Okay. This is exactly what's happening today on this panel. Whatever may have been said in the past, it was said even about Indira Gandhi at one time. It does make it right. 
it's totally wrong but instead in 60 years 70 years of us progressing we have women today saying that oh kangana said these dirty things so why is she objecting to what's been said about her the people whom she said these things about objected they had every right to so does some kangana have the same right none of these people man woman whatever have the right to make such comments about other women based purely on their you know their gender so or the work they do you know so, like so, so jada paul uh, again the defense the, the, the defense that's been put forth by uh, uh, supriya shrine just doesn't cut because a she's not just an ordinary politician she's the head of all social media for the congress party therefore whatever she puts out from her handle has that much more scrutiny she and her team have to be that much more responsible because they are the head of social media for the congress party i am given to understand that all her posts that come either from her handle individually or from the congress party's uh, handle are vetted at two or three levels no one person no junior staff who just because he or she has access to the password and to the account can just post whatever the hell they want that's not how it works there are three levels of vetting that happen uh number 3 like i said i find it absolutely stunning that it's been over 24 hours since this controversy broke out and there is still no explicit unqualified apology from <laughs> supriya shrinet and the most important thing i think one of the panelists referred to this is uh you know in the past congress party has taken the high horse about this including uh, a member like supriya shrinet now you can't take that high horse you have been brought down to the mud with those comments just like you accused the bjp of indulging in dirty politics we find this comment atrocious and i said that right at second thing i also said that we must wait because she has already come out in the open and she has said that uh, there was somebody else who did it somebody who had access she's not saying it got hacked there's a difference and i'm sure you understand that it's not about hacking but it's about somebody in the team who did it and like i said right at the beginning we you know we have so many people who are who are moles coming into uh, our party and then walking away with our candidates with our uh, uh, with our leaders that we really don't know who who's uh, ours and who's uh, not ours and you know one important thing i have heard miss uh, kumara mangal Uh, talk about the way Supriya Shrine uh, talks. Well, this is politics, and if you go and look at the BJP, uh, uh, you know, uh, spokespersons, they speak worse, and we handle it all. So I don't think that was a good comment to make. That was in very poor spirit. But I will reiterate that as far as Kangana Ranaut is concerned, and when I spoke about what she said about somebody else, about Urmila Matondkar. she said that because she said that if she could get a uh, ticket why can't i get a ticket this is the statement she made and she said that if a soft porn star like urmila gets a ticket i no, can no, get it too but but, but no no wrong. that is that is an equally <laughs> condemnable that is an equally condemnable comment but that does not that does not mean ma'am that what supriya said has to be absolved absolutely not and 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 if and if and if the congress party let let, let me ask you Your supreme leader is Sonia Gandhi. Uh, one of the senior most leaders in your party is Priyanka Gandhi. How come none of them have come out and said that what was said was wrong? They are women leaders. Zaka. No, Zaka. First of all, I'm not comparing the two. Please get that clear. What I'm saying is, what she said was wrong. But if was uh, if that post was uh, in bad taste, it was in bad taste, and I accept that. and we are taking responsibility for that let the investigation happen but nobody is speaking about dilip ghosh who who made this comment only recently but in addition to that if i start uh, going into comments there will be lots of comments but tell me why has the bjp not spoken about the women of manipur the way we are speaking about this issue the okay. women of sandesh we have our support we stand with them even though one our ally is in uh, is in government in west bengal aren't we speaking no, about